indeed and welcome back to the second half. Le premier morceau est pour un de nos amis français. Je ne sais pas son nom, mais il a demandé qu'on joue Cooking with Gas.
Uh, cooking with gas, special request here for our French friend here. That's a piece we haven't played since we recorded it about four years ago, as you can probably tell. The solo is there at the beginning. Danny Waldman. <laughs> Guitar. Tennis saxophone from uh, Sudbury in Suffolk, but uh, recently domiciled at Gerard's Cross, is it? Yeah. Somewhere like that. Anyway, James Hunt. <laughs> On trombone from Wolverhampton, Orchid. Andy Rogers! <laughs> well, I had the bass at the beginning there of Mark Ong. We'd like now to play a piece that comes from our uh, album recorded live at the Ronnie Scott Club. Just for those benefit of those who didn't get the message that the band is there again on the 21st of March. One which was uh, written for us by Mark Bassey. It's a feature for the alto of Howard McGill and got a very exposed lead trumpet entry. And, um, We'd like to have a special word for our lead trumpet player, Mark Cumberland, uh, ill. Mark Cumberland on lead trumpet there. <laughs> He'll be doing a feature later on just to blow the cobwebs away. Anyway, this is a piece entitled Smoky Eyes or The First Time I've Seen Dead People Smoke. <laughs>
very much indeed there for the alto of Howard McGill and the lead trumpet there of Mark Cumberland. I have a request for the next piece, which, which actually said, well, I don't think we'd better do this because it's got a very exposed piano figure all the way through, and uh, David hasn't seen this before, have you, David? So, as luck would have it, the composer of this piece walked in a few minutes ago, and I said, would you like to play the piano part? And he said, I'm at death's door, but I will. Ladies and gentlemen, the composer of the piece here, Mick Shepherd, to play piano. <laughs> Former trombone player with Nigel, now music, chief music editor at Music Sales and feeling very, very ill at the moment, but dragged himself from his sick bed to play this piece for you. While the cat's away, I'm going to bring to the front microphone a flugelhorn player, who is called Bradley Mason. He's going to play this one. If he hasn't played before, he's going to play it brilliantly, because he's such a brilliant player. Also studying at the Berkeley School of Berks and Lees. Bradley Mason!
say a few words. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> the flugel on there, Bradley Mason. And uh, that piece is... Um, When, the, when everybody sort of says no, no, whatever you say to. So anyway, we'll go on. We're going to feature our. Yeah, going Dutch. That's a good one. Right, going Dutch. So, popular choice there. Number 81, going Dutch. We feature both our tenor players on this one. Um, one we've been playing now for the last 10 years, and we get it right sooner or later. Um, this is. Um, you see how keen they are to do this. You can see that. One request. Give us a number. It's number 81. All the ones, 81. Number. It's called um, Going Dutch. It's uh, written by Chris Smith. It's on the chords of Just Friends, hence Going Dutch. That's Going Dutch, Just Friends. Well, anyway, it was written for when we went to Holland with Shorty Rogers. And um, it features our two tenor players. Um, both of whom have been near neighbours, actually, weren't you, actually? Very close. Just down the road from each other. Pop round and practice this one and get it right, weren't you, eh? Oh, lovely. Going Dutch. Give you a microphone, I've got This microphone. This one? Okay. I'll do one, two, three, four.
Bradley. Two tenors, first soloist, James Hunt. Benjamin Castle. Going Dutch. We're going to play a piece now that David Dagley knows as a special treat. He's played it with his band in the Midlands. David Dagley isn't actually completely uh, unexposed to this music because he actually comes and gets the charts from me and he plays them with this very, very good band in the Midlands. He plays a wonderful band. I don't know why aren't they? Why don't they come and play here? Anyway, ladies... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. This one was written by a young, no, not very young, a saxophone player from the Midlands called Adrian Bullers, who now lives in near Bedford in Marston, Mauritane. He's away at the moment doing a pantomime up in Liverpool, but he's writing a new piece for us when we play at Ronnie's. This one dedicated to his wife, entitled Sh Samba for Cheryl, and we start with the piano of David Dagley. <laughs> One, two, two, two.
Fitzgerald on the piano there, David Dagley, Alfo, Howard McGill. The, pardon? Yeah. Uh, the trombone solo there you heard from uh, Elliot Mason. Yeah. Two trumpets there you heard from Simon Finch and Bradley Mason. At the drums, Chris Dagley. Yeah, that's the one. The next piece we're going to do for you was actually written by John Clark. Those of you who are habitués of Rice Lip will remember John, and know John, in fact, because he plays here for very many years. He lives over the road, actually, and uh, done a lot of writing for all sorts of bands all over Britain. Comes from Scotland, was resident here, and he wrote this next piece. It's called Insignificant Song.
song's called I've Been Here Before, and it's also written by Alec Gould, with words by Christen Mead and Bill Ashton, that's I right. believe. The last one was the music by John Clark. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with the piano, right? It's usually the old beat, One, two, three, four.
is Nina Willison and the trombone there of Jeremy Price. Right, we're going to. Um, that's my change, by the look of it. Thank you. <laughs> that's my change. Yeah, there we go. Right, thank you. We're going to finish this uh, set today by playing for you a piece which um, was written for us by Adrian Bullers for our appearance at the Ronnie Scott Club. Um, as you probably know, all the jokes, all the titles of the pieces are based on Ronnie Scott's famous jokes. This is one of them. Um, it's dedicated to um, his hometown of Walsall, but there's not a huge amount to do. And this one's entitled what they do in the evening in Walsall, watching the traffic lights change.
Castle. On trumpet there, I have half of the drums, Chris Dagley. Nigel! Very much indeed, thank you. That's from the Jazz Orchestra. Well, we've got a special Christmas uh, treat for you. In spite of all requests, I've been pestered for a long, long time by various female members of the audience that I ought to sing something. And uh, because our singer isn't here, we have a song. Now, this is actually in the nature of a sing-along for all whole audience. I'm going to ask my beautiful assistant, Nina, to come and give you your song sheets. Now, obviously, um, with any other band but Nigel, we'd get you to sing something you knew. But of course, with Nigel, it wouldn't be as easy as that. So we're going to give you something you don't know. So that makes it much more simple. This is a song written by Mike Sams of the Mike Sams Singers and by Bill Owen, who's an actor who's in uh, Last of the Summer Wine. And if you don't know it, don't worry, just join in where you can. Uh, there are, it's actually a tone higher than the key you've got here. And it changes key and goes up a semitone at the end. You can't work that out, use your fingers and thumbs.
See you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you.